Good afternoon, viewers. This is Ricky Lynn with the Somerset County Historical Society for your latest sampling of Somerset. Today we come to you from the iconic grounds of Duke Farms in Hillsborough, New Jersey, formerly known as South Somerville, to bring you one of the most profound contributing structures to this incredible landscape, the Trumbauer Abel Greenhouses, otherwise known formerly as the Garden of Nations. This incredible, almost all-glass edifice was listed as one of Preservation New Jersey's top 10 most endangered structures of 2017. What makes it so special is that it reflects the work of a master, although lesser known until recently, architect named Julian Abel, a graduate of UPenn's School of Architecture. He was an African American who practiced his craft when it was otherwise unavailable to do so to people of color. He was noted for his work in Philadelphia, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Monmouth University, to name a few. And as a contracted worker through Horace Trumbauer's firm for our local celebrity, James B. Duke. His work here is most recognized through the use of domes and arches reflected in the 1909 Conservatory, which housed the Garden of Nations between 1964 and 2008. The value of Mr. Abel's work is that he was an only architect of his time to participate in his craft and climb the executive ladder within Trumbauer's firm while being a person of color in his time in the late 1890s and early 1900s. Typically, this wouldn't be possible, and his contributions to our nation's architectural history are becoming clearer each day. His first real recognition party occurred in the 70s at Duke University down in Chapel Hill. The provenance between the two Duke generations' ownership of James B. and Doris Duke combined with the social significance of being a highly successful indoor garden display for decades and its reflection of the work of a master architect makes this structure significant in its own right, not to mention its contribution to Duke Farm's iconic landscape. Today, unfortunately, it sits locked and in need of plenty of love, but with the recent onboarding of the latest director, Marrick Waldock, this may serve to restore its historic integrity and allow for future public access. Most importantly, we look forward to seeing the Doris Duke insignia return to the frame above the main entrance. 